it's you. We're glad to see you. Come on in. We have a fun soap today from Ariana and Evans. It's a beautiful morning with the barber shop duet. Hi, I'm Marcus Klinger with Klinger Vocal Studio. And I'm Sarah Vincent with Sarah Vincent Virtual Pilates. This is Elaine Stritch from At Liberty on Broadway. And together, we're yeah. the Barbershop Duet. Hey, it's good to see you. It For is. our mention today, our friend Zachary Kent at Moon Soaps has recovered from his wrist injury and the brushes are being made again. Y'all, we are Yay! so excited because we bought two of them. We did. Please let us introduce you to the Hemingway and the Wedge. These are the brushes that are on their way to us, and we are so excited. Thank you, Melody and Zach, for this awesome brush drop. We were so excited to be able to grab a couple of them. And it was really hard to pick. There were so many good ones. We we really wanted to get wood because they're not too far from us. So we thought it was kind of cool. She to- wanted to get wood. They're from a local area. Yeah, and he uses driftwood. I think my brush actually comes from a tree that fell in his neighbor's yard. Right. And he went and grabbed it. It's like, oh, this is beautiful. Can I have some of this? And they're like, yeah, you can. Mm-hmm. So ah, I- y'all, we're so excited. And as of the filming of this episode, there are three or four left. Yeah. So you might want to run Good over luck. before Sloppy Dad or grab some. So, <laughs> yeah, super exciting. So mm-hmm. thanks, Zach and Melody. We're so excited to get these. We, we did buy them, but a bargain at twice the price. These mm-hmm. were less than 100 bucks without the knots. So, yes. yo, beautiful, you guys. Now we're just so waiting excited for them to, for you to get start doing these again. Mm-hmm. So what's our soap today? Our soap today was actually one that someone in our YouTube audience had told us about. Yes. And I didn't realize that it was still available. And yes. while I was a perusing, it came up. Thank you all for suggesting mm-hmm. these soaps. They are bangers. And if you are watching our live premiere right now, now turn on the chat. We're there. Yes, Say hi. Come introduce talk to yourselves. Us. Yeah. So without any further ado, let's meet the soap. So y'all, I know my beloved picked this one out, but I'm super excited because my grandfather, John Phillips, after my grandma died and stuff, he took his master horticulturalist skills to the test and started to propagate peonies oh. and. All throughout San Joaquin County and Northern California, it became known that if you want an amazing tree peony, go to Beecher's Nursery in Stockton, California. Oh, and wow. he would make all kinds. He would graft them and he would like engineer them, not like from a microscope level, but like he would take parts of one peony and graft it to the other and like wow. then take those seeds and do that. Like it was crazy Insane. what he would do. And one of them still grows in a park in Midtown Manhattan in New York City. How cool. So I know, right? He got like super famous so for peonies these. So peonies are oddly important for right. you too. They are right. They, I mean, in fact, this is a picture of one of my grandfather's peonies. They are absolutely beautiful and vibrant, and the smell is just enchanting. I'm wondering if I know the smell. Maybe once I get my nose on the soap, I'll be curious. I think you do. They're really hard to get going, but once they're grown, they're kind of easy to take care of. So he would do all the hard work, and I'm so excited to have this little memory of him. Why don't we have an unboxing? We also got our first Pedro Fiasco soap, y'all. That is an episode upcoming, and here. Oh, Ooh, that label. There she uh-huh. is, y'all. Uh-huh. Look, Look at, at that. this. Oh, beautiful. Right? A little bit spooky. Just the right Looks amount. Looks like a of tattoo, little... y'all. It really does. Oh, that's gorgeous. And that is. That's what the tree peony looks like. Wow. Just these beautiful, like, pillowy petals. Yeah, there's them. a lot of and petals. all kinds of colors. I mean, they look like fireworks, like bright oh. pinks and purples and blues and greens and everything you can imagine, right? Okay, Lainey, you gonna help us out with this one? Let's have a first impression. Okay, you picked it. You get to do the honors. Oh, boy. I'm excited because we don't have a whole lot of florals. We I don't really think, don't. Right? We have a couple, but they're few and far between. Right, and this like... is a more specific floral. Where ah, sometimes, you know, it just right. kind of says a floral note or yeah. something, but it's not as prominent right. here. Ooh. All right, here we go. I'm excited because I, I know what peonies smell like. Oh, I forgot like. these so have the beautiful. side label, too. I know we love the side label. We're giant. Mm-hmm. We're about to rearrange the dents, so the side label was a conversation we had. Oh, <laughs> indeed. And Peter, these A&E soaps have a place of honor. In our oh, you're ready? So you you're ready? Okay, here we go. go. Is she going to have a first impression? I guess so. What do you think, Lenny? <laughs> oh, she likes it. She's usually not that interested in the uh, shaving soaps. Okay, what do you got? Okay, I forgot the last one we had from A&E was more in the barbershop month. So yeah! it's been a little while. We've been, nice. you know... But it, it has a very light, fun oh. scent. And it's, okay, I know it is a floral, but it's not an in-your-face oh, floral. gotcha. It's a much lighter, brighter scent. Gosh, so what's the scent intensity, like one to five? Uh, like a two oh. and a half, yeah. Okay, lighter side. A little, well, I mean, maybe when we lather, it could change. But at least coming straight off here. And, and they're... 
I don't know what else is in here. It keeps it in the lighter side. Yeah. And there is something about the floral here that's not overwhelming. I know Ooh. some people get a little scared when they see a floral listed that it's going to be yeah, too me. flowery. Right. But there is something very um, almost like zen about the scent. I oh. wasn't expecting. Now, do you get peony? Like, do I do. I do. Okay. Now, do you get serpent? I don't know. <laughs> a little snake bite in there, maybe. Maybe? Right. I, there's got to be something to put that in there. Yeah. But there's... It doesn't go too colony. Oh, okay. It doesn't. It, it, it doesn't, pets, please. Uh, it doesn't go too colony. So I, I guess I was just thinking it'd be a little more masculine of a floral oh. somehow because of the serpent side. Oh, is it? Is it delightfully feminine, which plays well around here? You know, I gotta say, it might be right in the middle. I, I, I really, I didn't know what to expect. Yeah. But I'm kind of excited. Someone pushed to say, like, go check this one out, and I was like, right. I saw that label. I, mean, I didn't know. And we know Peter's daughter has a giant hand in the in the yeah. company and how these are made. Okay, so, I, you know, maybe I, I'm a feminine edge to this. Who knows? I'm very curious to see what you think. Actually, okay. I, I don't want to say too much more. I'm kind of curious. Uh, <laughs> If what you were asking, if you're going to get that same answer. Yeah. Now, does the label, is it a good movie poster for what you're about to experience? Uh, yes. I oddly thought it was going to be a little darker, just oh, because, because it has like that twist to it, on it too, which so. doesn't always mean something, right. but I just kind of wondered. Okay. So give it a whiff and see uh, see what you think. All right, I'm folks. Sure. Here we go. I'm going in. Oh. oh. Is it peony, though, like what you were expecting? It is. Okay. It's beautiful. And I think peony's tricky. Otherwise, we'd have smelled it right, already. But that's, because I this kind is of like gorgeous. that. It's a different floral. We don't have something in that oh, lighter type of a floral. I love this. I, and he, okay. First of all, let's have a go to conversation. I love that the balance in this is 80% peony it and 20% serpent. I mm -hmm. like that because yes. I think the peony deserves it. Mm -hmm. I think it's and not just because it's in my DNA, right. but because it is an absolutely gorgeous flower. Mm -hmm. We would see people coming in. They'd be like, hey, can we get a drink of water? We've been driving for four hours. You drove for four hours to get one of his peonies for $25? Yes. Yes, we yes, did. Yes, they did. And this wow. is why. Because it is. They are it's, really few and far between. I'm really I'm glad I can know that scent on its own now, though. Because you're right. I don't think we've had that in oh, any soap oh, so far. Yeah. And the 20%. Here's what I love. Sometimes when I mix music, you've got something really drastic you want to bring into that right. track, right? Mm -hmm. And you need the drastic sound. But you don't want it to be really prevalent or even sometimes identifiable. So what you'll do yeah. is you'll take the track right. and you'll distort it. You'll do whatever you're going to do. You'll make it giant. And then when you mix it in, you only mix it in about 20%. Does ah. that make sense? Mm -hmm. So the 20%. So the serpent for this mm -hmm. is beautiful and dark and biting. But the thing is, it's small. It's 20%. Uh -huh. Okay. Ah, so perfect because you want the sense of that serpent you want that sense of danger mm -hmm. you want that edge you want that bracing herb and spice but you don't want it so strong it takes over the peony okay so i think peter's put this at the perfect balance ah. where you can sense the snake but it doesn't take away from the flower and it just almost keeps it from getting too floral it's right. just enough to ground the scent and it's a clean scent it that is. is almost floral which is mm -hmm. why I love what it's doing to the peony. I wouldn't have thought you could improve nope. a peony smell. Okay. Well, <laughs> listen to this. Well, and that's the thing, because I don't know peony as well as you do. So it's hard for right. me to pick out that there is another scent in there. All of the floral that you're sensing is, is the peony. Right, okay. And I think, uh, well, I, we'll see scent notes here in a minute. But I think that other thing is just maybe, maybe a little bit of a grass, maybe a little bit of an herb, yeah. maybe a little bit of a wood, mm -hmm. just to be that. But, but... It's not something that like automatically would lock in and go beautiful with a peony. Right. It's something that wakes up your imagination. Because look at this. Okay. You wouldn't think a black serpent and a peony would look gorgeous right? together. But I almost do. got like an Adam and Eve vibe or right. like something like that, right. you know? And I think it's why tattoos like this very often have like the gorgeous with the dangerous mm -hmm. right, kind of mixed in. I'm with you. So that, yeah, what you're sensing along with the peony, that right. little bit of that serpent dangerous smell, it's not a floral. Mm -mm. But I love what it's doing to the peony because it's not something I smell. No. And I really thought it was going to be like a dark and a light thing going on, uh, like a good evil kind of a thing, right. like scent wise. Oh, a little bit. No, I am getting that a little bit. I'm getting a little bit of an angel on one shoulder and a devil but, on the other. But it's very disguised. Yeah, the devil's it's, way smaller. It's way more right. of just a little echo of something. I don't know what that is. I'm curious once we read the scent notes if we're going to figure it out. But just getting it off the puck, it is very enjoyable. Let's and, all build no, a leather. No, no, no. Let's do this. I bet there's some things to discover. I, there has to be because maybe that's going to help us separate what we're missing, that right. second 
20% of oh, it besides the peony part. Beautiful soft, y'all, like butter in this vanilla bowl from deep in the heart of Texas. Thank you, Monica. Mm -hmm. Ooh, this is our Star Wisp brush from Douglas and Fran over at Phoenix right. Artisan Accoutrements. I'm very curious because I feel like it's such a lighter scent, not intensity-wise necessarily, but, you know, it's a brighter kind of a scent. Yeah, right. I do get, because he said summer, like kind of summer spring out of this, which is kind of fun. I wasn't expecting it to have that, oh, oh. Y'all, <laughs> y'all, you ever put water in soap and mixed it with a brush? It's amazing it what happens, into magic. Oh, I don't want to like tell you what to do with your time, but if you have a bowl and a brush, I would take this soap and put it in there and swirl it around, because this. Things are happening? <laughs> uh, oh, so sorry. No, this is something special here. Hold on a second. It, there is a okay. lot coming so out of this 20%? that wasn't is in it just changing? soap. Oh, oh. Mm. Hold on. I'm oh. going to have to do a total reevaluation here in the ladder. we got to start a little bit over, folks. Okay. This, this Hold magic. on to your socks here, people. Yeah, indeed. Strap it. I'm still... There is something in here. I can't tell if it's a wood, a spice, yeah, a something, but it's lighter. <laughs> hold on. Hold on. You're, hold on. <laughs> this... Okay. That was peony. <laughs> this is peony. This is so real. This is so real. Okay, so hold okay, on. Okay, but then is there other parts that are coming around it now? <sighs> oh. I mean, maybe... I, I'm just still delighting at what the peony has done in wow. the lather. Wow, okay, that so is ready? pretty fun to We're have just going to do a right drive-by. Right? Okay. So imagine you're in Mid Midtown Manhattan, you're in a cab, there we and go. you're passing Bryant Park, right? right? And, and there's my grandfather's peony on the corner. Okay, okay ready? Okay. Here we go. Mm -hmm. It's it's just enough that I my nose would catch that, and I'd be like, what was that? Know. You know, like it is, know. it's not a normal floral that you're used to, but no. I can see why people drove the four yeah. hours to get it, because that it has, it's dainty. Oh, yes. I'm glad you said that. Delicate. Delicate. The but, fragrance, yes. And it's not um, too froofy. I don't, that's not a word. But does that make sense? Oh, it makes perfect <laughs> sense to me, yes. And if you've never seen a peony, I mean, look at the label. Right. The, the petals are super delicate. They like, look it like almost tissue looks paper. like. Right, that's what I was about to say. Oh. Wow, that's funny. That's what I was about to say. <laughs> and if you would touch them, they would tear, right? Okay. And, and oh, but the scent. And you get it from like three or four feet away. And the bees, the bees loved these, y'all. So we couldn't even get that close if it was the middle of the afternoon. <gasps> and see, that's why I love the more feminine shave soaps. Because they're not with you all day. It's a shaving soap. As soon as you wash it off, half an hour later, you can't really sense it anymore. But sometimes when I'm in my bathroom, I do enjoy having a little hint of a feminine character on my shoulder when I shave, right? I have yeah. a mom. I had grandmas. Mm -hmm. I know what that's like. I got this, right? <laughs> that it's sometimes really nice and comforting to have like a feminine and scent. I do it's to not be, too crazy. Man. Right. But I do have to agree that the females that we bring over to our shave den, of course, we want to show off all the crazy things, but this may be a perfect one. Not saying it's a crazy feminine soap. It no, is no, no. still pretty in the middle. Yeah. But I do feel like most ladies taking a whiff of this would be like, oh, I can take that. My sister would love this. Yeah. yeah. I, I, or my mom might fire for it. I, I don't know. know. My mom would have loved it. Yes. I know. I know. Could you imagine? She like, would have freaked out. I know. She would have freaked out. Didn't she get a tattoo? This would have. Yeah, she did. She did. Yeah. Yes. Like the she was also. she was scared of needles her whole life, y'all. But if you have someone who you love who has Alzheimer's disease, I forget who the comedian was, but there's a sweet spot. <laughs> uh, there there is a point where like all of a sudden she was unafraid like to fly. She was still herself. Yeah. Right, but she was unafraid to get tattoos, unafraid to fly. Like the fear left her before the memories did. Mm -hmm. Like she even got on roller coasters that Marcus was like, she would have never I done know. that. No, she we took her to Disneyland. She <laughs> wanted to get on a plane and she wanted to go on all the roller coasters. Yeah. Yeah, let's mm -hmm. do it. You so, want the hot cocoa? Sure, you can have it all. <laughs> right, so she did. She got a tattoo, and the one and, tattoo she got mm -hmm. was a peony, and it was a purple I one. I forgot that until I just saw that picture, and I was like, wait, I know this. Yeah, this would have been Speaking our first episode tattoos, she watched twice, probably. Right, yeah, probably, and she would probably steal the soap, so yeah, there you but go. But see, isn't this part of what this shaving soap world is for? That if your mom can't exactly be here in the mm -hmm. way you'd want her to, if she has Alzheimer's far away, right. there are still ways that she can Something she would you. like There's, and right. want to send to you, right. you know? That, and there are still ways I can enjoy this for her. Right. And that's what I want From her do. perspective, knowing yeah. our dad had those. Right. And one of our yeah. commenters um, mentioned, actually, that one of the soaps hit too close to an emotional memory for him. Oh, and you, but it's hard but if thought, you like, don't know. Yeah, like, we were talking like how lucky that is, right? right? That when you're ready to have it, bring it's back there. those memories. And then someday he's going to get that soap again oh, when I'm he's sure. ready. But like right now, it was a little too much, and I get it. Right. I totally get it. Mm -hmm. 
it's like, oh, I think that's why we're doing the show. Right. Is that these just using scent have a way to whisk you away that other mediums and just that's don't. what, when we were looking at the original, like, YouTube videos before we even started, that's yeah. what got us so enticed about it. Like, watching people and trying to figure out what right. does that smell like. Right. So we really try to paint a picture or stories or things that can help bring it to life without just reading it on the website. For know? example, we have a whole section of our show devoted to the original scent notes. <laughs> So I'm really curious to see <laughs> what Continuing this other part is with because, the sales page. Yeah, here we uh, go. Take yeah. it from the saffron. Oh, that is that what it is? Yeah, I think so. Saffron resin. Woo! The saffron resin used Woo! is among the best you can find. I believe that. I barely I can figure out. Wow. Oh, look Saffron's at this. one of those tiny, mysterious. It things, is, really. and I'm really excited to get to know it better. But look at this next one. If you're familiar with cashmeran, it's a stunningly beautiful, inviting, and warm scent. Wow, I almost said warm twice earlier, but I didn't want to confuse people that it was like an amber warm. But it is. There is a warm white to this somehow. And, ladies and gentlemen, I don't mean to alarm you, but oh. it looks like we may have some oud in this, ladies and gentlemen. The scent is anchored with auger wood. Oh, and that is a w That's oh. oud. Sand well, once the auger wood's been invaded by a particular parasite right, and, and it has small. an immune response, it becomes oud. But it's a light wood, for sure. Gorgeous. And then the sandalwood makes complete sandalwood sense now. And patchouli. Oh. Whoa. Oh, and these are the actual, the actual list of Oh, not just the Oh, it's got my... <gasps> it's got my favorite flower in there. Okay, okay. start from the top. Hold okay, wait, wait, so wait, wait. more specific scent notes, not just reading the description. We have saffron, <sighs> cashmerin, yep. carnation. That's it. Beautiful. Yeah. But I, I don't know how oh. it can't be too floral. Does that make sense? Well, carnation for me, it's really funny. Having a dad who's a funeral director, I grew up mm. around mostly carnations. Right. So they have a way of adding a gorgeous, beautiful, light sweetness and not much else. So if you think about a carnation, That's it doesn't senior. have like a floral scent. It just has a really like white, clean sweetness. Mm -hmm. That's, That's what's here. being added here. Yep. It's gorgeous. Mm -hmm. And then... Peony, what you got? White pepper. I Whoa. knew there was a spice, but I didn't know what it was. I want to smell a white pepper essence on its own. And because pink. we are seeing them in every soap we're doing for the last three weeks and I need to know what white pepper is well, doing. Yeah, and it own. was white pepper or pink pepper. Right. And they've right. been in like barbershops mixed in and they're doing some magic. Right. They're clearly I mean, supposed I'm, to I'm be I'm getting here. a little, but I'm right. not sure what it would smell like on its own. I kind of want to know. And then finally, a little sandalwood. Mm -hmm. Agarwood. Patchouli. <sighs> it's such a clean, Yes. Pretty I'm scent. a little surprised at these last three notes, but they're being used correctly. They are. They're just and being used they, correctly. You know, I really thought it was going to be almost more obvious of a light and a dark thing going on, but this, the darkness is just making the bright parts of this yeah. even more enjoyable right now this doesn't <laughs> smell like cedar so before i say this get that out of your head no. but when i was little and i was really bored in elementary school one of my favorite things to waste time <laughs> was to go smell the shavings of the pencil sharpener oh. and i remember taking it in how it had this cold and warmness all at once and it was just this magical thing that i was taking in mm -hmm. it doesn't smell like that but this i'm having that same Sensation, that same warmness, that same mm -hmm. coldness and warmness. This is that same joy I got from smelling those pencil sharpener shavings. And that's, that memory's never come back to me in this show. That's so funny. But that, for me, is what this is doing. Not smelling the same, but it's having the same effect on me. And I'm almost feeling like I'm in like <laughs> some fancy resort spa bathroom, Ooh. like white tile everywhere. Ooh, right. And then sun coming in, right. or like the morning fog. Like yes. you, you know, like how you can watch the sun move along the floor. There's something <sighs> bright and clean and rejuvenating about this. It like brightens your soul. Yeah. Yes. The brightness in this is just beautiful. Like it and cleanses it's not, you. I guess that's what I like. It's not a citrus bright because normally right. when I think like brightness, I'm mm -hmm. like, oh, it's grapefruit, it's orange, it's citrus, no. it's lemon, it's no bergamot. citrus it's at all. No, it's done the other way, and it's equally as bright and absolutely beautiful. I'm trying Ooh. to think of like when I'd want to use this, but I got to say, like, I, if I wanted to smile from the inside out, yeah. Yeah, that's a good way to say it. You know, it. like, or if I if I just needed to re-cleanse my soul oh. and know that I just needed to start of the day all fresh, right. I, I would grab this. Like, epically comforting. Or, so yeah. if you're a constant viewer, we just did another one that had a Cuban cafe. It was like right. a morning Cuban cafe, right? And it was just so comforting and exciting. And I'm getting that same feeling from this of just like, wow, where am I? And it's just beautiful and I want to stay here. And you know, I was not expecting this <laughs> symphony of scent notes. So we might have to take these down a little bit deeper. Alright, 
y'all, if you want to do a really deep, confusing dive, go over to Wikipedia and check out Cashmoran. Because as best you can see, it's like a chemical compound. It's a musk. It's kind of a musky smell. Right. So... I don't know if it's like related to sort of a cashmere or a suede, but right. that's kind of what I'm getting. Maybe that's right, how they right, named right. it. But the Wikipedia article doesn't have a lot of pictures of flowers and trees and stuff. It has like chemical formulas. Yeah. So very interesting. But Maybe I it's totally like a get. brighter, cleaner cashmere. Well, I totally get why like a cashmere like scent or vibe or idea like a cashmere right. sweater mm-hmm. would go so beautifully yes. with peony because this mm-hmm. is maybe a spring, late winter right. kind of scent. Mm-hmm. And I am longing for that beautiful sweater to have on while I'm smelling it. So maybe. I think mm-hmm. that's what it's doing in here. But how fascinating. Because right. it's not like an essential oil, I don't think. I think it's like a chemical, mm-hmm. but it's one that is ubiquitous in the scent world, and it's doing amazing things and in this. I'm just realizing how much I do enjoy peony. Like, it's fun oh. that it has your family connection, but oh. I don't think I really knew that smell on its own. Yeah, we'll have to ask Peter if he has a connection to the peony, I too, wonder, because yeah. they're kind of rare. But, like, whoa, such a beautiful and scent. And saffron. We have not seen that in too many, either. Right. So, other new things for us to find in this soap, for yeah. sure. Yeah. So, it's pretty easy. All you have to do is be the proprietor of a little nursery in Stockton, California, and after the Things start to slow down and you start to retire, you're just going to specialize in one particular flower. Well, you're going to do it too well because people are going to come from all over the state and all over the West Coast to get it. They're going to take it back to Manhattan and plant them where they still grow today. And guess what? You just got your own. So head over to aegrooming.com or shavingshopclub.com to find this and a bunch of other stuff I want. enjoyable and I'm so glad those of you who said that we should get it we did and you were so so right and I really enjoyed this having it through the bathroom and the aroma going in a nice way to get to know peony on its own new level and the other stuff that's in there have wonderful touches of just a little hint of masculine so it doesn't get too froofy and flowery going on but I really enjoyed it and I'm so excited to have it around for summer coming I just feel like that floral vibe is a perfect way to enjoy the seasons a little differently so thank you Welcome to Messages! It is time for our Philip Sharp Custom TBD Brush and Bowl for the Barbershop Duet for you! And we want to thank all 10 of you who sent us in an email to enter this giveaway. Yes, thank, thank you to you. Bjorn, Ronnie, Matthew, David, Malcolm, Mickey, Dan, Richard, Scott, and Tom. Hey, hey, and those are luck. your numbers in yes. the giveaway. And it is now time. Alexa, give me a number between 1 and 10. Here's a number between 1 and 10. It's three. Three. One, two, three. Matthew, Matthew Bennett! Bennett! Hey, Yay! congratulations, buddy! You are the winner of our giveaway. We are so grateful that you give us this to give away, Philip. And we hope, Matthew, that you love these as much as we do mm-hmm. because it's just one of I our know. favorites. And it's a matching brush and bowl. So it says the barbershop duet right. for our little logo so you can have a little bit of us. And thank you, Philip. And thank you all for being so incredibly supportive of our show. It really means the world to us. And yes. best of luck in our next giveaway. Yeah. Oh, peony with something a little dry and bracing and something a tiny bit creamy. Oh, it's just perfect. Because mm-hmm. I think if it was the peony alone, it would like be an actor without a stage. Does that make yeah, sense? Yeah. No, I'm like, with it, you. It's just, it needs a little something and more just to know where it is. everything in there pulls against it in, and makes it prettier right. or better somehow. Right. And I love that in his imagination, it was the serpent. It's mm-hmm. something with a little bit of a dangerous bite mm-hmm. to it. It's something with an opposite bite. Because when you think beautiful flower, you don't really think snake. That's the yeah, opposite right. idea. But right? there is something in that kind of other side of yeah. it that twists the peony so in the a new way. Right, mm-hmm. right. And I love that that's where the mystery kicks mm-hmm. in. Is where the serpent meets the peony. Right. Love it. It's been Fantastic super. Fantastic work, Peter. It's been super fun to get to know peony on uh-huh. its own right. like now i feel like i can really understand and if 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 somebody isn't quite sure how they do with florals uh-huh. this might be a great way to yeah. test a floral yes. and it's not too much floral in my opinion right. it is clearly a it's flower it's a great but, introductory flower and yes. ironically most of the people that came to buy them were guys yeah interesting mm. so, so there you go there you go yeah a manly floral i don't know it may just be up your lane <laughs> don't forget your next appointment with the barbershop duet you'll smell better just watching this <laughs> <laughs> 